In this video lecture, we're building our very first project here on Java GUI using the Window Builder. So first of all, move your mouse to Phi and uh, hit on Phi. So move your mouse to project and click on project. So now you have this, go ahead and hit on Java project and hit next. So this is my very first project. I'm going to name this as demo project. So go ahead and hit finish. And uh, this is just building the parts and it's done. So move to demo projects and bring this down and right click on your source. So right click on your source and uh, you move to order. This is where you should go into control N. So we are not going to a uh, package or interface as this time. So go ahead and hit order. All right. So now you are here i can go ahead and close this so after web services and uh, between web services and xml you can see window builder so i believe you have this in your system so go ahead and uh, open this up so you can see that go to swing designer and open swing designer you know you have that already so go ahead and hit on application window and uh, click on next so now you click on next i'm going to call this um first project so this is my first project and uh, i'm going to call the package as uh, first project two all right so our java is usually start with uppercase go ahead and that is okay go ahead and hit on finish and uh, is building the path everything and is done so let's wait for this to come on and uh, you can see that you have some bunch of code just very before you for the very first time on that java gui so down here i have source and i have design so this is the source view where you can view your code and uh, if you want to view your form you go ahead and hit on design and this is opening design page so uh, it doesn't take time but uh because we made new installation it's just taking a little time and uh, when you open some projects afterwards it's gonna speed up very fast so come on so the design view is open for us now and uh, here you have the environment where you'll be working and uh, this is your form just here go ahead and double move your mouse to first project java here and double click on this so now you've double click on that you can see that the window covers everywhere so you have a larger space to work with and you have all these spaces here and if you want to go back again double click on it and you see that it is back again and here you have your project explorer here so i'm going to double click on that so that we will go with that convention and uh, we're not going to run into problem in future okay so now i have my form directly here i have my parents so this is what i'm going to use i have system and the system has its components i have containers and containers has some of the components and layouts um startups and spring components swing action menu and so on so this is what enables you as a Java developer to create awesome projects 
and uh, we will be working with lots and lots of projects in this course i believe that by the end of this you will understand how um, the java gui works so the next thing that i'm going to do first is introducing us to the usage of these components here so when we know the usage of these components we can be able to build awesome projects in future so whenever you build your projects you move your mouse to run just as we usually do and hit on run so i want to populate this and you can see i have empty form so this is the form i have so just the way i told you i have my exit button here my maximizing button and minimizing button they are all here so let's put some things inside here and get this working so that we can be able to enjoy this now whenever you have a form and you want to use it the first thing you put is a layout and as a beginner so as a beginner you should concentrate more on absolute layouts it covers most of the layouts and uh, you will always use this in your project so it usually have x y direction and uh, width and height so go ahead and hit on absolute and you can see that it is selected in white why others have their normal color so when you click on this you don't need to drag you don't need to drag it you see i'm going to just move my mouse i'm playing with my mouse i'm not dragging anything i'm just with my mouse here on the form and i believe you can see the green outline on this form so this green outline is what is showing us that we have bring in the absolute layout on this form go ahead and hit on this you see that if you want to insert it when you hit on absolute layout you bring in your mouse here and uh, click on that and it will just go in there most people will be asking me hey where is the absolute layout on this form you cannot see it it's just a layout so now we've seen a layout and uh, we've known that absolute layout is the first thing we input in our forms before we start work so now that we've done that let's go ahead and select a button so go to components and here i have so many j's go ahead and hit on j button okay so let's start with j button as a beginner that is the first thing you know so each one you select just bring in your mouse don't ever drag it is not a drag and drop issue just click and uh, it will follow your mouse to anywhere until you go ahead and hit on the form and it will drop it there so you can see new button down here you can see the properties of the buttons here so this is one of the things that you need to know as a beginner whenever you select a component you're going to have the properties of the component shown on the left hand side of the screen so that is where you will be able to alter the components of what you are working with you alter the properties of the components of what you are ever working with so if i want to alter the properties of uh, button i can go ahead and hit on any of the properties maybe i'm starting with a variable button go ahead and hit on this variable and i'm going to change this to btn and that is not a must it's a variable so you give it a name so i'm go ahead and give it button one i hope that is cool so i can come back here and hit on button so hitting on button you can see i have variable button one so you can go ahead and enlarge this by stretching it out so now i have button one I can go ahead and change the name on the button but now we have seen how to do this on the design view 
what if we want to do it on the source view how do we do that so move your mouse to source and hit on source and down here i have this button one here you can see the variable name i changed button one is already replaced so go ahead and change the name and i'm going to say um let me change the name of this to first project so the name of the button is first project and uh, if you go back to your design view and click on this so you can see this opens very fast you can see that i have first project here and it looks very tiny now you can go ahead and keep making changes either from the source view or from the design view go ahead and uh, hit on font so i can change the properties here so i can click on bold i can change the size so like uh i can choose anything such as 20 i can choose the family time new roman or anyone and i'm going to still leave it at tahoma and hit on ok so now you can see the first project is getting larger so now go ahead and uh, change the background in case you want to do so you can go ahead and hit on background here and uh, i have different colors here so i can go ahead and choose magenta and click ok so now you can see that and i hope maybe you are not seeing this clear but i believe it is clear to me so go ahead and hit on run let's see this button live so you can see the button just here and uh, it has first project and uh, the color of the button is magenta so this is still under introduction i believe that we are grabbing on how to change the properties of the components we choose so i'll go ahead and close this again come back i can still go ahead and alter this so i love using the color it comes with so go ahead and hit on light gray and uh, hit ok and this is always better so running this again and this is what i have so you can always change the body to your own color so you have lots and lots of colors there in case if you want to activate this button to do a particular job for you so it is either you double click on this or you go ahead and right click on this and move your mouse to add event handler so now you are add event handler move your mouse to action and uh, you see action perform here so you can go ahead and hit on action perform and uh, it's already there so here you can see public void action perform action event blah 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 so go ahead and open up this so going back to design view you can see that this opens very fast now unlike in the first time we're about opening it and it's wasting time because we installed that newly so now instead of me right clicking and going to add event handler always someone else will just come over here on this button and double click on this you see that so you've learned two ways of activating or adding an action or an event to your buttons or anything just double click on that and uh, it will take you to your source view or source page immediately now i want the button to do something for me because this is our first project let's get the button work a little so here i'm going to say when someone click the button let it up pop something for us so j option so j option pane that uh, show message show message dialog and the first argument is going to be now and the second argument is going to be what is going to pop out 
so this is going to be in a string value and i'm going to say welcome to java gui all right so this is what's going to pop up for me when you click on the button so now go ahead and hit on run and it's going to come up so i have this button here and uh it's my first project and hit on this and you can see welcome to java gui so i believe you are really enjoying this uh it's always good working with java gui that is where you work and you see everything working out very fine okay so now that we've created our first project go ahead and close this and close this i'm going to teach us how to add text boxes and uh, separators and so on so that we can be able to play around with it and make sure that everything works out fine so now you can go back to your design and uh, this is combo box is it i just go ahead and hit on this so this is for drop down in case if you want to add drop down menu use a combo box i'm going to bring this button down so that i'm going to show us most of the properties we use in designs so jlabel is the one you use you can use it to give name anytime and i can go ahead and say change the name of this i am not going to the source view as we've learned how to change them from there so go ahead and change this uh, say java gui so i'll go ahead and put up this enlarge this you can change the font we've learned that as well both italic this time around and go ahead and choose on 20. so you can see that that is for jlabel so go ahead and put a checkbox so we all know about checkbox in case you want to use a checkbox we'll be using all these in this course so we have radio button if people want to select you want people to select and they want people to add password when we're working with all these you are going to see that so i'm going to enlarge this so the type of the text it takes is a password so the next thing we have separator let me show we have lots and lots of components i might not be able to show all of them so if you want something that divides the line in between which we'll be doing so you see separators just they are like this so text areas you can go to text field in case you want somewhere you write in something so that is okay you can go ahead and uh, alter it so you see how the components you use in gui and go ahead and uh, run this so you see that this is my drop down it's really nothing is inside it and uh this is the password the down one you see that it gives you a password uh type and the text field you can write anything inside here you see that and my first project still working welcome to java gui and radio buttons give people the opportunity to be able to click or select and uh, check out things on check boxes okay so if that is not showing well you can be able to go ahead and stretch this and uh, it you can be able to display everything so running it again you can see the checkbox is visible now and radio button is visible now if you have any question under this section please use the question and answer sections and i'm going to get back to you as soon as possible Thank you so much and I'm going to see you in the next video lecture.